What's going on YouTube? I get a lot of questions on what it's like to make a pass in the Camaro. So I'm gonna walk you through what a pass is like, throw some clips up of what's going on, act some actual race footage, and uh, let's get this done. So first off, let's talk about the burnout. So what we're doing for the burnout is, you know, you just get pulled up through the water, put on the brake, and you know, I don't really give it some, some good brake pressure. My rear brakes are not the, not the best, they're from a Pontiac G8. So first gear, foot on the brake, stab the gas, get into it. Right now you're watching your RPMs and I'm watching whoever's you know instructing me up there, whether it's Jeff, Ryan, Martin. So I go, so foot on the brake, start feathering the gas, first gear already, second gear, I go into third gear, I'm already off the brake at this point, starting to roll forward, watching whoever is directing me. They're either gonna tell me to send it through or they're gonna cut me off, get, take my foot off the gas there. I like to let it roll out a little bit. From there, what I do is then, you know, back it up. They're directing me, getting me straight, doing whatever they have to do to uh, get you straight. So backing up, I normally like to go to neutral after that, give it like a rev, make sure I'm in neutral, and then make sure it's in first. So from there, we're ready to make a pass. From then, whoever's directing me, whether it's Jeff, Ryan, Martin, um, they pull me up just short of the pre-stage beam. So that, that helps me know, you know, I only have to go maybe another foot or two feet. So I kind of know, I'm not like searching for it, where is it, where is it, and then I accidentally roll into the full stage. So they pull me up there, just shy of it, give me a look, I'm on my own from there. So what I do is, I know I'm in first gear, I'm ready, I got the trans brake button in my hand. So I roll, so, so I let off the gas, roll into the pre-stage. So from there, with my foot on the brake, grab the trans brake button. So right now I can take my foot off the brake and the car will not roll. So I'm holding down the trans brake button, I floor it. So the car, RPM starts shooting up, car starts building boost, get all the way up on the two step, car shaking. Going back and forth. So as I'm on the two step, you know, give it, give it like a little bit. Normally, you know, when all this is going on, it seems like no time. You know, you think you're on the two step for a minute and really it's not even a second. So up on the two step, still holding down the trans brake. What I do is I reach over here to this button on my center console, that is for the bump box. So that's a little delay for the trans brake. So that lets the car lurch forward from pre-stage into the full stage. So as I'm holding this down, normally I'm all set back here, ready to rock, watching the tree. So I hit that once, jumps forward. I'm ready for the tree drop. As soon as I see that tree drop, bam, let go of the trans brake button. Foot is still to the floor. Reach over here, grab the shifter. So I'm watching now, I got a bright shift light here. Everything feels good. Second gear, still pulling hard. Shift light comes on. Third gear, right about third gear, I'm going through the traps, the eighth mile traps. So I'm cooking right now. Once that thing's in third gear, it's about to ride. You know, the big turbos, it's pulling strong and the car is moving. This heavy some bitch is trucking at this point. So still hammering down, get to the finish line, let off and then I start to apply brakes. So, you know, I like, to, I like to make a little note here, when you're applying brakes in a drag strip, or in a drag race, don't just slam on brakes, because you're just gonna boil the brake fluid and uh, melt the brakes. So this is a heavy car. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, you know, depress it, and let it out, and pedal it. You know, go back and forth, back and forth, slow the car down. I get caught sometimes just slamming on brakes because this heavy car gets moving sometimes, and sometimes it's a short shutdown. There's a lot going on. So after you're slowed down, you're getting ready to do your turn off, you know, put it back in first gear, turn off, go and get your ticket. And that right there is a pass in the Camaro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little bit of a run through of what it's like from the driver's seat of the Camaro, what I got going on in here. You know, you get the boost controller turned on, the tank air in the back turned on. I'll discuss that in another video, what all is going on there more in depth. But this is pretty much what goes on here in the cockpit of the Camaro. And, uh, Thank you guys for riding along for a virtual pass with me. Uh, I know as cheesy as that sounds, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys if you subscribed already. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Um, that's huge. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.